This is BigCountryHomePage.com Sports with Dusty Baker. Well, after winning their first game in XFL history last week, on the road in L.A., the Dallas Renegades playing their first Saturday game of the season. On the road in Seattle, taking on the Dragons. First quarter we go, it's Brandon Silvers at quarterback, finds Austin Prohl there. That's a 21-yard strike. Seattle up ahead, 6 to nothing. Landry Jones, though, man, having him back has helped a lot. Flynn Nagel there, a 12-yard score. It's a tie ball game, 6 to 6. Notice these extra points, really hard to convert. Second quarter we go. Silvers to Kenneth Farrow for a 19 yard strike. It is 12 to 6, Seattle back up ahead, but Landry Jones guiding the team down. The third quarter hits his man Donald Palmer there. That's a 10 yard strike, and it is 12 to 12. Fourth quarter we go, it's 15 12, Dallas, and Landry hits his man yet again. This time another touchdown for 65 yards, and it is 21 to 12 in favor of Dallas, and after a rough Opener, the Renegades led by Landry Jones are now 2-1. and one. They take on the Houston Roughnecks March the 1st. Well, in April of 2019, ACU began construction of the Byron Nelson Clubhouse for the golf team. And 10 months later, it is officially open. The clubhouse is located across the street from campus and is next to the team's practice course. Head coach Tom Shaw is one really excited coach right now. Well, I thought that how incredibly lucky we are as both the coach and players to have something like this to, to call our home. We've never had a home as a golf team, and so and to honor Byron the way we do, the memorabilia that, that's in there, it's just beyond my expectations. Uh, I go into work every day seeing something new, and I'm just, uh, I love coming to work here. It's great. Oh, this is absolutely incredible. This is more than I ever could have dreamed or imagined. Having something like this convenient, it's awesome. Well, on top of that as well, the young basketball players of Abilene presented with a special opportunity Saturday as former NBA player Bruce Bowen holding a camp at the new Dodge Jones Youth Sports Center. Bowen, a three-time NBA champ and a five-time All-NBA defensive first-teamer, is still very involved with the NBA and shares his opinion on the way defense is taught at all levels. It's built off of a, a player going a certain direction. You have to think on the defensive side and what players are coming in thinking like, oh, I just have to guard my guy. No, it's not just about guarding your guy. You have to follow the rotation. And unfortunately, so many kids today come out of a zone as far as high school and, and in, uh, college. So now they have to learn a whole different other scheme of things. So when you have that, it makes it a little difficult. Well, and Dusty, of course, as we're talking about basketball, means baseball can't be too far behind, which does mean it's prime time to discuss the Astros. Now, they've had a problematic offseason surrounded in scandal, and Dusty, you may not be the skipper of the Strohs, but... What do you? Th I guess you do have a, you do have some opinions on this. Well, first thing. of all, talking about that, Dusty Baker, not me, but the man <laughs> I'm named after. He is now the Astros manager, and uh, of course, while I'm excited, yeah, absolutely, to watch that is exciting, but it's a difficult situation. Uh, reality check is they've lost two of their main people in their front office. They lost their manager as well, uh, and on top of that, this team is really just going into a major transition after the scandal. Do you think it's going to impact at all their season, a 2020 season? Absolutely. I mean, when you look at what happened today, spring training, signs are being taken away already saying asterisks instead of the Astros. And so just a really difficult time for Astros fans, I would imagine, and for baseball as well. But there is a lot of attention surrounding this team, specifically because of the new managerial change. And we'll see what happens, of course, as the season progresses moving forward. And certainly uh, we're going to be watching definitely some of that player response. Well, that'll be exciting to watch. And of course, Dusty, thanks as always for all that MLB insight. Can't Season wait. opener, <laughs> March 26th. It'll be exciting. And when we return, Hilda joins us as one.